Aloha kakayaka means good morning to you. I have my huge watermelon ready to be cut open today, but, and I have my kombucha ready to be made because guess what? We're finally gonna be opening my Himalaya yoga station room where we can do yoga and meditation together and this is a time that we can really focus on one thing and it's thyself and i'm so excited because you know right now we are going through a lot of chaos a lot of things are happening in our life in the last two two years you know and uh, up to now people didn't really talk about mental health and I'm so happy that people, you know, such as professional athletes, you know, people that have a huge platform to talk about mental health. And I think this is so important that we take care of our well-being because, you know, what we're all going through is no one, no one, is coming out with really a happy result you know we go this way and maybe we might go get get down to a you know a, um, a lockdown again and so there is this huge thing that's going down with top-down government with the people with you know with our health and so we need to take like I always say, preventative care. Because sometimes we don't even know that we are lashing out to others or that we are really upset and the only way to do it is just start getting literally upset at everything. You know, whether this watermelon doesn't cut well, whether this kombucha is this and that whatever it is you just get irritated because there is this heavy heavy energy that anything and everything that we do or anything or everything that somebody say to us we get upset and we get angry and so this exercise this system that i created the vac system where we focus on your vagus nerve your Achilles heels, which means your weak point, as well as your cheetah, which is your monkey mind. And doing these tools and exercises, really, you wake up in a different feel, a, a total different breath of life, as I say. And so, you know, I can't wait to bring this out to you. I'll put more information on it. And if you guys want me to send more information, I have some of my clients that's texting me and saying, Monica, thank you so much for all your positivity. If I, even though I don't see you physically, I miss you. And I really do miss everyone because that gives me that energy of doing my passion is to help heal people as well as dogs i've been doing it <laughs> for so many years over 30 plus years and yes i have gone through many peaks and valley and many things that if i had not gone through that you know i wouldn't see what is the brightest light and to appreciate that and so we do need to go through all of this, but we also need to have that balance in our life and how to wake up in the morning and the first thing pretty much most of us do is pick up our smartphone or pick up the computer or start looking into the internet, you know, whether it's social media or whether it's the news or whether it's the stock market or whether it's what? You know, and so by doing certain steps when we wake up in the morning, 
it gives us a better pathway for the rest of the day. And once we go sleep again, some of us do the same thing. Be pick up the phone or smartphone or pick up the remote control and watch TV or anything in that sense. Instead, maybe we can try something maybe five minutes before we go to bed. And with this, it really helps you have a better awakening in your body because your mind, body, and soul is not attracting all of these things. Because sometimes when we are going through, you know, depression or we're just down or we just really don't feel good and our mental health capacity will make us trigger so many things such as substance abuse such as you know reaching for that extra drink of alcohol i'm not saying if you can't drink i'm just saying you know you don't want to become an alcoholic i've seen people who are before they go to bed they drink first thing in the morning they do is put it in their you know cup and head out with an orange juice but they're not drinking <laughs> and so you know these kind of things you know we can start to create something that brings in more oxygen of good life and so these are things that we can create good habits and things that we can go forward because we need to go forward. In Hawaii, we say imua, to go forward. And if we, can keep, and if we keep on remembering what happened the other day or getting upset because this thing is just going in circles and it doesn't end, somebody needs to step back. Because sometimes, you know, they like, to, it's like a hurricane, like a cyclo, you know, it grabs whatever it can, that it can magnify that energy to make situation bad or, or maybe good. But it's that energy that we, and it's that vibration and it's that frequency, you know, and so these are the things that I was taught to read through. Whether you are sitting with me one-on-one -on -one or whether I do a Zoom call or a phone call, you know, it's all these things because it's transmitted. It's like air. We can't see it. You know, can we touch it? Yes, it's all over us. And it's through this wavelength we exchange energy our frequency and that vibration and so all of this is if you surround yourself in an, a positive energy when we sleep and when we wake up and have an awakening we nourish our body our soul and our mind and so today is Tuesday and that's just a, my thought that I wanted to share with you because I think it's so important that to know, you know, while I work through all of my stuff with my dog products and things like that, I am still me. I am still Coco Jour. I am Monica. And so that's how really Coco Jor was created because in my heart and in my soul, I needed that unconditional love going through a divorce. You know, you don't know what's gonna happen in that tornado that could last months, years. And so I, I really put all of what I want my passion and saying you know what f this with everything else you know f with the f with doing 
this or dealing with that and 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 i want to do something and i remember it was like a lightning bolt with my two dogs coco and jordan going through a divorce what should mommy do and i was going through a physical mental breakdown that triggered me during you know, I never had thyroid problem. Then all of a sudden I had thyroid problem, you know, and I started to get allergic. I mean, I used to have an EpiPen when I was married because I would get into some allergic reaction and, you know, things like that happen. And my whole entire immune system went down and a lot of things happen because your body reacts to that energy, that frequency, and that vibration and so really I could I could have worked it out I could have done a lot of things I could have done a whole bunch of things but my body my mind and my soul was saying get out a year and a half later get out and that's what I did and so a lot of us are going through whether it's going through a divorce whether we are going through a marriage whether we're going through you know our problems with our kids our parents you know it's a lot of things every single day i worry every single day about my mom you know she's getting old and she's i don't want her to drive but i kind of stop her but i just gotta make sure that she's okay you know, <laughs> to a point, he's like, Ma, I made, you, I made you this, I made you that. And then she said, oh, okay, I was doing this. And then I'm so grateful that my nephew's here, you know, to take care of, like physically be there 24-7 living with my mom. So that is like a blessing in the sky, you know, and he's so cute. He's so adorable. And so, you know, for me is now I have this opportunity because I've been traveling for the last oof, 20 to more than three decades around you know with business and you know really this was one of the beginning of my question how did corona affected you and if it did how are we going to change it and how are we going to live forward because no matter what this is going to be a long ride and so you might as well do something that will make you feel so good every morning knowing the fact that you are doing your passion doing it with unconditional love and that's your part of your life to survive in this crazy world <laughs> this chaotic world that we live in because everything has its price i mean look how expensive watermelon is nowadays <laughs> and i can't wait to cut it and enjoy it so have a literally a beautiful juicy watermelon fruitful life you take care and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. And arigato, kumachan. And for all my friends out there in Japan, I miss you guys. You guys did awesome in hosting the Olympics. And, you know, it gave a lot of these athletes, a lot of people who are really need to move their mind, body, and soul through physical fitness through and that way it will help mental illness is and it's not something to be ashamed of we all go through it we all just need to connect and help one another and that's what i feel is my part to do to help people as well as dog has always really been my passion so once again, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. You take care and have a wonderful aloha.